always use safety essentials while operating and performing service procedures on machine. When sitting in the operator seat, make sure your seat belt is engaged at all times. Fit the lift arm safety strut before working on the machine, whenever the lift arm is raised. Always engage cabin safety lever while cabin is in upright position. The machine identification plate is fitted on the chassis. Numbers punched on the identification plate are recorded from the individual components serial number plates. The chassis number is punched on the chassis. Bring the machine to travel position on the horizontal level ground. The hydraulic oil should be in between the maximum and minimum mark in the side gauge. To check the engine oil, take out the engine oil dipstick and clean it. Refit the dipstick. Take out engine oil dipstick again and the level should be between the minimum and maximum marks. To check the chain case oil, remove the oil plug. Oil should be seen at the top. The chain case oil should also be checked on the other side of the machine. Coolant level can be checked in the expansion bottle between the two marks as per the hot and cold condition. Diesel can be checked in the front cluster. Air cleaner. Hydraulic tank. Tank return filter cap. Filler cap, breather, hydraulic oil temperature switch, battery, battery isolator. The function of the isolator is to disconnect the battery. Isolate the battery during machine long storage and carrying out welding repairs on machine. Reverse home, primary fuses. Lift arm emergency lever. Engine oil filling points. Primary fuel filter. Secondary filter. Fuel sender unit. Cooling pack. Cooling pack fan is driven by a hydraulic motor. Expansion bottle. Lift arm. Lift ram, diesel tank, diesel tank drain plug, skid steer loader range is available with various tire options, heavy duty tires and solid tires, chain case drain plug, chain case filling point, starter motor and solenoid. By lifting the cab, we have better accessibility to the hydraulic components. Ensure that cabin safety lever is engaged. Ignition switch. Hazard light, cap front lights, high beam and low beam, cab rear lights. By pressing the half switch, you can operate the wiper. Full switch operation will operate the wiper and washer together. Cabin light, the fuse and relay box is located behind the seat. Before starting up the engine, always ensure that the hand accelerator lever is at idle. 
the first position is ignition on. The second position is for heater glow plug. The third position is for engine crank. Ignition switch. When ignition switch is on, please ensure that these four lights are glowing in the warning cluster. When engine starts, these lights should go off except the park brake. Battery charging light. During running engine, if this light glows, it indicates that the battery is not charging. Engine oil pressure. During engine running, if this light glows, it indicates that the engine oil pressure is low. Charge pressure. During engine running, if this light glows, it indicates that charge pressure is low. Immediately stop the engine in case any of these three lights glow and contact your authorized JCB dealer. Park brake light. This light will go off when the park brake switch is activated. If this light glows during engine running, it means that water is mixed with the fuel. Drain the water from the fuel filters or else at every 50 hours, water needs to be drained from the fuel filters. During engine running, if this light glows, it means that the air filter is clogged. If this light glows, it indicates that hydraulic temperature is high. Vane sensors fitted at left hand side pod and lap bar make a magnetic contact to unlock the services. If any of the vane sensors is faulty, no services will operate. To release the park brake, press the switch half and then full press against the spring action. To unlock the hydraulic services, press the hydraulic switch half and then full against the spring action. To unlock the AUX services, press the AUX switch half and then full against the spring action. This will unlock the AUX service attachment fitted at the front end of the left arm. AUX attachment speed will vary according to the AUX dial lever selection on right hand joystick. To have a constant AUX attachment speed, move the top AUX lever as per required speed and then keep the bottom switch pressed till the light in the AUX switch blinks. Press once and release without disturbing the top AUX dial lever. Lift arm emergency lever is used to bring the lift arm down in case of engine failure. If the lift arm emergency lever is in a vertical position, it will not allow the lift arm to go up. Bring it back to horizontal position. Creep function is only available in skid steer loader 155. To activate the creep function, first ensure that the park brake switch is on. Then, press the creep top button on the left hand side joystick twice quickly. A green light will be displayed in the cluster. The creep setting speed will be 50%. Press the creep adjustment button to increase the maximum travel speed from 50% to 100%. Pressing the creep adjustment button to the backward position will decrease the maximum travel speed back to 50%. Water in fuel indication shows that water is mixed in the fuel. To remove the water, 
take out the bottom harness connection. Loosen the drain knob and drain the water. Fit the harness connection back. Loosen the secondary filter drain knob to drain the water. Tighten the drain knob once the water is completely drained. Air filter warning shows that air filter is clogged. Take out the outer cover. Remove the air filter element. Fit the new air filter element. Ensure that air filters are changed as per recommended service intervals, even if there is no sign of clogging. 